Advanced Rotor Balancing Technique How to locate the heavy spot before the trial weight is added. This question comes up, where should I put the trial weight? This is a very challenging question because if you have a very severe unbalance and you happen to put the trial weight on the hemisphere where the heavy spot is, as illustrated by the plot shown, the vibration level can become much worse after the trial weight is added. This severe vibration can possibly damage the machine and also put the working people in danger. In this video, we will show you how to locate the heavy spot before the trial weight is actually added. Knowing where the heavy spot is, you can reduce the vibration level effectively by adding the trial weight and making your balancing job safer and also quicker. We will use the balancing module of the Portable Analyzer Impact Elite for this demonstration. The same solution is also available from other portable analyzers, the Field Pack 2, and also the portable data collector, the VP5 and MP5. In this video, we will use a bench grinder for this demonstration. This bench grinder rotates in the counterclockwise direction and both the vibration sensor and the tachometer are installed at the 270 degree angle. Next, we will enter the single plane balancing procedure and select the single point balancing. This means that we will only use one accelerometer for this test. Then we will enable the 1x coast down measurement. We will press next to enter the phase correction menu. For this case, select counterclockwise in the rotating direction and input 270 degrees as the angular positions of the accelerometer and the tachometer. This, the information of the sensor locations is required to make the compensation and measuring the quote absolute vibration phase. The software will use this to locate the heavy spot position. Next, we will go to the vibration measurement page. We will turn on the bench grinder, press the OK button to confirm the balancing speed, and in this case it will be around 3570 RPM. This will take about 20 times of average to complete this measurement. The initial vibration level is currently around 15 millimeters per second RMS with a phase angle of 240 degrees. Next, we will turn off the bench grinder and it will enter a coast down procedure. So while this bench grinder is coasting down, you will see that on the plot it will put the 1x on the plot and uh, this will automatically trace the 1x. It shows the result on a polar plot. You can see at first that the 1x trace has made a circle as the speed is, is coasting down. This implies that it is passing through a resonant zone, but as it comes down to the low speed zone, the phase angle will stay consistent at about 170 degrees stably. As the speed continues down more, the 1x trace will become a straight line moving towards the center of the plot. Now, we will terminate this measurement sequence at 1000 RPM because it's moving in a straight line and use its vibration phase to locate the heavy spot. Because at the low speed zone, the phase of the vibration displacement at 170 degrees, we can estimate that the angular position of the heavy spot is at 170 degrees too. As we add a tri the trial weight, the ideal position would be to place the trial weight at the opposite side or 350 degrees. According to the heavy spot estimation, we will add a trial weight of 1 gram to the rotating disc at 350 degrees. Then we will input the data of the trial weight information uh, in the menu. Next, we'll turn on the bench grammar grinder and see how this works. After 20 times the average, the vibration level with the trial weight, you'll notice that it's reduced to around 7.5 millimeters per second, which is about 50% less than the initial vibration. The phase of the initial vibration is at 240 degrees. After the trial weight is added, 
it now becomes 237 degrees, almost no change at all. We can observe from the polar plot that the vibration trend is moving towards the center of the plot. That's what you want it to do. It proves that our heavy spot estimation works perfectly for this demonstration. Although we can continue to complete the balancing job, we're going to stop here. Should you have any questions about balancing or heavy spot estimation, please feel free to contact Ben Stone Instruments. Thank you so much for your watching.